Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and this is Season 1, Episode 4 of Valley Deep, Mountain High, the Woodgate Valley FC story. So, since you were last with us, we managed to get that Northfield Town game that was postponed in the last video played. You didn't miss much, it was a boring nil nil affair where both teams often puffed and cancelled each other out. We moved on to beat Earlswood Town 3-0, we beat FC Stratford 2-0 and we beat Fairfield Villa 3-1. So at this point of the season, it leaves us top of the league with 23 games gone. We've got a 20-point gap at the top. And if I've done my maths correctly, I think we can win the league and get promoted in this video. So let's get straight on into the action and fingers crossed we'll make that a reality. OK, so since the last video, we have made one addition to the team. Jack Little is a 21-year-old goalkeeper who was recommended by our scout. He's coming as the first-choice goalkeeper. He was given an 87 rating by our scouts. So we've picked him up for nothing. He's going to go straight into the team and make his debut today. At the back, we'll have Granger, Hayes, Charlesworth, and Jeffs. We've got Salis and Juice in the middle with Akeem Sams wide left, Lewis Hamilton wide right, Thompson as an SS AMC, and Edmondson as an advanced forward. He exploded in the last video and scored four goals. So fingers crossed, he moves on and continues that good scoring form and fires us to promotion. So with the game up and running, we're looking to get on the front foot straight away. Jeff cut it back to Thompson, crosses it in. It's headed away by the defence. They've lobbed it forward. Little's going to return the favour. It gets defended. Jeff takes the ball down the right. It gets intercepted. However, it's pumped straight forward to Edmondson, who tries a shot from an impossible angle. I don't know what he was trying there, because <laughs> there was no chance of him scoring from there. But it's good to be on the front foot from the get-go. We've been in good form, goal-scoring-wise, as you saw with his four goals in the last video. We get the ball to him quite often. And there he is, just as we're talking. He scores his 23rd goal of the season. He has been a star in this team. And as you can see, Thompson gets the ball, plays it forwards, he's in space, takes a touch out of his feet, goalkeeper goes down early, he's placed it past him into the far left hand corner, and that's a great finish to put us 1 0 up. So we now got a throw in where Jeff brings it in. Sally's over the top to Hamilton, who crosses back for Edmondson. He's had a hit to the bar. We are looking to stamp our authority on the game. Salis now with the ball to Hamilton. He's going to cross it in. Juson knocks it back in and Edmondson's had a chance that he's put over the bar again. So we are creating quite a lot here. Also, the town have got to throw in deep. They're working it forwards into the middle of the pitch. Thompson intercepts. Hamilton to Salis. Edmondson goes up for the head of it. Can't win it. Ball comes back to Granger. It's knocked up to, Ham to Edmondson again, sorry. Granger's now got it out on the left. Juicen with a cross in, and there's Hamilton at the back post with his 11th goal of the season to make it 2 0 after 13 minutes. It's a great delivery. He's standing there all alone. And it's a very encouraging start to the game. I do think if results go our way today, we can be crowned champions, which will be brilliant. Got a corner that comes in. Defence clears it away and they're on a counter-attack. Not Mitchell in the middle. They're knocking it about. Gets intercepted by Granger. Out to Sams. Beats his man quite easy. Gets into the box. Edmondson tries the shot, but Gets deflected. He's going to have a corner that's going to be swung in by Salis. Hamilton's there. Puts it over the bar. But if we win the league today, it'd be great to tick off that objective of the first season. Our board, we're looking for a top half finish. Looks like we're going to go on and win the league with the points difference we've got. So we've got an attack going. Thompson shot from distance. It's pretty wide. With the points difference that we've got, we're 
we're definitely going to get promoted so we would have hit that objective and when we were signing players earlier on in the season a lot of them required us to be promoted at first time of asking so if we can get that ticked off and achieved it means that hopefully in the summer when it comes to replacing some players we can attract some of the better maybe Premier League released players or Championship released players so we've got some defending to do. Granger gets the ball. Plays it up. Thompson tries a pass. It gets deflected. Sams is into Edmondson. And Harry Edmondson scores his 24th goal of the season. As soon as it comes to Thompson. Get a bit of luck there with the deflection. Edmondson again. A couple of touches out of his feet. Beats the goalkeeper in a one-on-one. -on -one. 24 goals for our main striker is a great return. I think he's actually scored 24 in 24 now. Certainly 24 league games, so his return is phenomenal for a player who's just coming on a free and hit the ground running. But we've got defending to do. It's a ball coming, and Little's there to deal with it, brings it down, kicks it long to Thompson. Plays it forward to Edmondson. And there's 25. He's got a first half hat-trick in this game. He finished the last game with a hat-trick. He really is on fire. And I think if we wrap the league up early, we'll obviously be able to experiment with the team and rotate some players. But I might have to leave him in just to see how many goals we can get out of Edmondson. He's been one of the players that really has stepped up. Along with Sam's, Lewis Hamilton's been brilliant with his pace, being able to beat people. I think even if we can get players in in the summer, there will be a place in the team for those kinds of players that have done really well at this level. I know you can't really be too sentimental in non-league football and your aim is to keep going up the leagues, but the players that get you there, I think, deserve a chance. And Lewis Hamilton, certainly with his pace and acceleration, is going to give any non-league defence nightmares. Edwardson with his finishing, and then one or two of the boys in the middle. Club captain Dewson, of course. He's probably head and shoulders above everybody else at the club. So maybe give him a chance. And then it's just a case of hopefully nurturing some of the players to become club legends. It would be nice to carry a player or two all the way through into the Football League once we get there. So some defending to do. Corner comes in. It's headed away. And then a ball back over the top. It's cross out. Sam's got it. Doesn't try and beat his man but plays it back to Granger. And it's a ball over the top that gets intercepted. However, this time it comes back. Emerson was in on goal. It's a pretty tame shot for a change. And he's worked the goalkeeper, but was never in doubt. Having a little look down at the team there, everybody seems to be quite happy health wise. Maybe Lewis Hamilton could do with the change. So that's the first change we're going to make in the second half. Entering on Aston Harrison to replace Lewis Hamilton. So I'm really happy with how the formation's working within the save. When we were coming into the save game, I'd used it previously in a different series which is an Englishman abroad. If you want to go and check that out, you can see that on the channel. Managing in Thailand with Borough Ram United, and we use the same formation there and have pretty much the same outcome. Lots of shots, lots of entertaining football. Obviously, the players at Borough Ram United are a, a, a bit better than <laughs> Woodgate Valleys, but I'm pretty sure that as we move through the football ranks, the tactic will continue to help us do that quite easily. Just as I'm saying, 
There's a disallowed goal there for Alcester Town. There was a ball to the back post that was tucked away, but pulled back by the assistant ref. And now got more defending to do with Alcester knocking the ball about, but we intercept it. It's only one minute of added on time, so it looks likely we deal with this. It's out for throwing. And then it's blocked. And yes, my maths actually was correct. We have indeed won the league. And we are going to win the Midland Football League Division 2 at the first time of asking. With plenty of games to spare. It's the first chance to get our hands on some silverware. So we pass the trophy over to Brent Jewson. Lifts it high up in the air. Firework display goes off in the background. Give the lads a clap there at the front in our snazzy blue suit. And we're off on our lap of honour. In front of nobody, it looks like. <laughs> Pretty sure I saw we had 100 fans in the ground somewhere. Not visible. But still, it's a big achievement for the club to have been promoted at the first time of asking. And we have met our first objective, which was to win the league. So we're going to move on forward to the next game. going to be a lot of rotation in that. I'm going to try and fit some players in, see what we've got. And hopefully continue the form that we've been in scoring goals. OK, so we are back for the second game, which is against Boldmere Sports. We have already won the league, as you've just seen, so we are going to rotate for this game. We're going to have Little in goal, not at left back, Hayes, Hamilton, Graham at right back, Charlesworth pushed into midfield with Jewson, Ellis on the left, Thompson in the middle, Drovey on the right, and we're going to give Edmondson all the opportunities to score as many goals as he needs up front. Although we have got a few younger players, Agostino and Parky on Sue on the bench just in case we need to give him a rest. So let's push on to get into the game. Okay, so first highlight of the game Graham gets the ball out wide, crosses it in, it's intercepted, and then Thompson plays a straight pass. It's cleared as far as Hamilton. He's going to push it back towards the penalty area. It's headed back to him. Ball over the top to Drovey. Tries to square it. Gets cut out by the defence. But then straight back on the attack. Ellis has had a shot from distance. And it's gone wide of the right hand post. So a positive start on the front foot. Even with the rotated squad. Giving opportunities to quite a few players today. I'd hope to we would still play the same kind of football, even with the rotations. And run the attack again here. Ellis has had a shot from distance again. Seems to be one of his traits that he's not sticking to his wide position. He's coming into the central areas and having shots at goal. That's his second highlight where he's had a shot from distance but hasn't managed to do too much with the opportunities he's been given. A few of the other players that have come into the squad today. Drovey was recommended as one of our stars of the future at the start of the save. He was one of the um, young players that we were hoping to develop. He hasn't really had much of a look in since we signed Lewis Hamilton. But with the league already wrapped up, it's a perfect opportunity to try and get these players to show what they can do. As we're saying in the last game, if there are players that we can keep and retain for another promotion push in the first division, maybe some of them are players that could be promoted from within the club as well. So fingers crossed we don't have to go out and sign another entire squad, although yeah, that's probably inevitable that we will need to do that. So Bob Mir, I've got to throw in gets crossed in but Little deals with that pretty easily his clearance then goes straight to Ellis knocks it out to Knott tries to look for Charlesworth but the ball's a bit behind him he brings it forwards anyway puts it out wide to Graham he's crossed it in gets cut out by the defence Charlesworth back to the left ball in for Thompson and the first goal of the game goes to Callum Thompson nice little running behind the defence there 
Chosworth took his time, picked out Ellis, little ball through, gets one on one with the goalkeeper, hits it left footed, finishes it well to give us the lead. So with the rotated team, we are still playing the same style of football. We're still having the same effect that we would with our first 11. We had decent 15 shots in the first half, taking a 1-0 lead at half-time. But all we can ask for really is just play well. Some of the fringe players show what they can do. I think we're going to give Edmondson maybe till the hour mark and then I've got a decision whether I want to see Agostino who became our youngest ever scorer earlier on in the season off camera or to look at the Korean forward that we've got maybe leaning towards him because Agostino's had previous playing time whereas Park Su hasn't So let's go ahead and make some changes. Park Yon Su is going to come on up front. I'm going to bring Aston Harrison on on the left hand side in place of Noel Ellis. Give both of those half an hour run out just to show what they could do in the, in the team. So, got a goal kick that's pumped up to our defence. A couple of passes and knock it forward. Drove you lays it back to Graham. The ball over the top. And Parky on Sue had a chance. But then the assistant flag was up. And it wouldn't have counted even if it had gone in. And there's a ball over the top. Little picks it up. That's a ginormous throw. He's thrown it from the penalty area to the halfway line. Gets Harrison in behind. But he can't beat the goalkeeper. And we get a corner as a reward. Corner comes in. It's dealt with by the defence. I've turned it into a counter-attack with McLean's. I think he's meant to cross the ball. It looked like a shot at first. But I think that was a cross. Just sells harmlessly wide. So we've got a free kick to defend. Haven't defended it very well. And the big ball over the top has caught us out and we've conceded an equaliser with 20 minutes of the game to go. And then pretty much from the same position they have another free kick. Over this time we do deal with it well. We've got Thompson in behind and pretty much straight away from conceding we're back in front. Jusen got the ball, played it forwards into Thompson's path. Only one defender gets nowhere near him, keeper comes out. A right footed shot hits it hard, low, and into the back of the net to give us a 2 1 lead. And this is a, a, a good performance from a rotated team. Shows that we actually did have quite good squad depth. So we're going to have a free kick here on the edge of the box. Park Sue's had his shot. Goalkeepers had to get across to his right, get down and turn around for a corner. Then Thompson with the resulting corner swings it in, doesn't come to anything, goes back out to him. And then Jusen has a shot from the edge of the box. Pulls it wide. So not with a throw into Thompson. Thompson crossed it in. And there's Dylan Drovey, scores his first goal for the club. On the back post, the big header goes up and over the goalkeeper. And that should really put the game out of sight. Only 11 minutes left on the clock. Hopefully. So, got a free kick. Jusen's took it. I think it's hit the bar. It may have been saved by the goalkeeper, but from the angle that we saw it out, it looked like it hit the bar and was cleared out for a throw in. So, yeah, looking at these stats. We are being absolutely dominant in this game. The 35 shots we've had, 16 of which on target. We've had 57% of the possession and only scored three goals. 
we have rotated players. So I'm impressed with the fact that we took the lead, gave a silly goal away, and then still had the time in the game to turn that back around and turn it into a 3-1 win. And we push forwards into the season to try and get as many points on the board. We've already hit the target of winning the league, so we will continue with the rotated squad. Let's have a little look at where we can jump to in the season. It may be a case now of just going to the last game of the season and then doing a review for the season review and then maybe a preview of season two with any ins and outs transfer wise let's have a look at the schedule and we'll go. okay yeah so what we're going to do is we will push on now until the end of the season we'll come back and show the solihull united game for the last game of the season so we can just show the final standings see how we finish if we can get through these games and the amount of points that we've got and then we will jump to the next point which is the review go through the review and then start preparing for season two so if you've enjoyed this video please consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future content season two is coming up quick so it'd be good if you're on board with that if you've liked the content and you're enjoying the series also please consider hitting the thumbs up button any comments you might have leave them in the box below i'll try and get back to as many as i can and that's it we'll move on to the next episode and until then, everybody stay safe and I will see you soon.